Hello, good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Facebook Live. My name is Irish, and I'm one of the coaches of the Filipino Virtual Assistants. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Wherever you are, please feel free to like, comment, and share this Facebook Live to your individual pages. Feel free to also comment where you are. I would like to know where you are at this time, if you are in Luzon, Visayas, or Mindanao. So I am personally here in Central Visayas, specifically in Cebu City. So maayong gabi sa tanan. And I see that we already have an audience. Thank you for uh, coming on time to our Facebook Live. Oh, hi, lady. She is in Visayas. That's God. I'm glad to know we are both in the same region. So, yes, I know that uh, this is a very interesting topic, especially for a lot of social media managers because... Oh, hi, Coach. Good evening. Yes, she's in Davao. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, V. Joy Piamonte, he or she, sorry, is uh, in Bulacan. So, magandang gabi. I'm so sorry my, my Tagalog is so bad. But yeah, good evening. Thank you for tuning in. So, yes, once again, this is a very interesting topic because almost every business is already online and for social media managers especially the ones that have foreign clients i'm sure all of us have our own specialty some are good in writing some are good in uh engagement some are good in strategizing some are good in graphics, which is basically what we will be talking tonight. And as a social media manager, you are basically expected to know all of those things. Design is not a strength of mine, but I'm very much willing to learn because that is very important. Everyone is visual. That's the first thing that will catch the attention of the audience. So tonight, we will be tackling uh, designer tools for non-designers. So I'm not sure how many of the viewers tonight are very good in designing, but for those who are not, you should be here tonight. Yes, someone is from Laguna. Good evening, Litam Gliza. And also Catherine, good evening. She is in Mandaluyong, if I'm not mistaken. And hi, Juna. Yes, thank you for the support as always. So, yeah, I won't prolong this further. I will be joined by one of the trainers in Filipino Virtual Assistance. She is in Mindanao at this time. She was a college instructor of IT for three years. And at the same time, she is a social media manager, a graphic designer, so she can definitely tell a lot of things. And also, we will be having a short tutorial. So she will show you as to how to do it. So you should stick around until the end of this Facebook Live. Once again, feel free to like, comment, and share. And hello, Yunessa. She's in my batch three. She's in Osamis. Good evening. Thank you so much. So I won't um, prolong. She's already waiting. Please help me welcome Coach Love Kanoy. Hello, Hi, everybody. Hi, Coach. Yay. Good evening. Good evening Good to evening. everyone who's viewing right now. Hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you, Coach, for accommodating my invitation. Always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> How's, how are things there in uh, 
Cagayan, right? You're in yes, Cagayan. Cagayan de Oro City. So if you're from mm-hmm. Cagayan de Oro City, hello, mayong gabi. Mayong gabi. Ha, sa inyo tonight. <laughs> so yes. here in Cagayan de Oro, everything is well. We are currently um, not under any ECQ or something. We are actually Wait, somewhat me. free. Ah, but we okay. need QR codes everywhere we go. So QR yeah, that, code? Oh, yes. Okay. All in right. every establishment, we need to uh, send our contacts to them so that they will know that we are from there instead. And it's for, it's for contact tracing purposes. Mm, I, yeah. see, I see. So that's the system that they implemented there. Okay. Yeah. Well, important thing is you are safe. All of us, hopefully, that are in this live are safe. So, yes, coach. Tonight is we will be talking about Designer tools for the non-designers. This is yes. also for me because I am a non-designer myself. Yes, and this will I'm help a lot. Definitely. That's why I really, you know, schedule this into one of my Facebook lives. So <laughs> before we go out, I understand you have, a, what do you call this? You have a slide, right, Coach? Mm-hmm. So um, I think I will just... Uh, put it to a screen where you can share your slide. So you can also, you can now start sharing your slide. But uh, before that coach, as a social media manager, yeah, I'm sure for a couple of years, you have, uh, what do you call this, um, work with a lot of foreign clients. Mm-hmm. Why is it that it is very important. And why is it that you yourself, you chose graphics as one of your niche? Okay, so uh, by the way, Coach, I am uh, alumna of FVA Social Media In-Depth course. I was under oh. Coach Karen, yes. Okay, it was see, like a turning point to me. That's why I shifted from the academe to the freelancing industry. So mm-hmm. um Back to the question, I really believe that having the graphic design background uh, firsthand before going freelancing was a really big help because for me, I observed for the past years that I've worked as a social media manager, graphic design and social media for me are like twins. They're like sisters. (laughs) <laughs> they go hand in hand with each other. True, yeah. Because yeah, you, right. when you make contents, you have to make uh, visually mm-hmm. pleasing graphics for Appealing. social media. Yes. Right, right. So how can we catch audience or customers' attention if our graphics need to be worked on, right? So yeah, that is really um, a big help. It was a big help for me. When I applied for social media jobs, it was... Um, My employers always tell me that it's good that you have graphic design backgrounds, things like Mm -hmm. that. It was a big help. Yeah. True. Yeah. So I like what you said, where in social media and graphic design always go together. And I totally agree with you because whatever you, even if you don't say anything, well, it's a cliche, you know, a picture says a thousand words Mm -hmm. and it cannot just be like, we we don't have all the opportunity to just go out there and shoot. We can do it in all of these tools available right now. Yeah. So um, can you tell us, Coach, especially for those people who do not have any background on okay, graphic sure. design, on Photoshop, things yeah. like that, what are the available tools that they can use okay so for uh when we uh think of graphic design it it usually is like scary when you think of it and you're a non-designer you're like oh my god right. i think i can't do that yes, because yes. of might be the uh, um fear of using the applications because what we see on social media the editing tools are quite um, complex. Yeah, very complex. Yes, yes. It's very complex. We don't know the tools, the icons. It's the it's just all <laughs> over the place. Yeah. yeah. But I am going to show you yes, later please. the mm-hmm. tools that we can use for free and very easy, very user friendly. 
So oh, okay. you won't be having a hard time with this. That's nice. So, so far, Coach, can you uh, tell us these uh, designer tools? I know one is Canva, mm -hmm. yes. which I think a Very lot famous. of social media managers are using right now. Yes, it's the go-to graphic design tool. It's my for, best friend. <laughs> yes, it's our best friend next to Google. <laughs> right, right. True, true. I feel like I'm already a good graphic designer because of canva i'm just like yes, wow everybody okay. can be a graphic designer in canva, because of canva. okay yeah aside from so, canva mm -hmm. yeah. um aside from canva we also have photo p photo p is somewhat for adjusting the photo because that's also very important in social media graphics mm -hmm. right we have mm -hmm. to have uh, great lighting, yung mga photos natin dapat yeah. shouldn't be eyes, dark. Shouldn't yeah. be dark. Yeah. Yes. And then we also have Vectr, Vector.com, which is used for illustrations. If in case the business or your clients want to have customized icons, you can do that in Vectr.com for free. And mm -hmm. then, of course, Canva which is our best friend yes. and a substitute and alternative to Canva, which is Snappa. I'm not sure if you have heard of that, but it is no. also a great tool, Snappa. Napa. I will show you later on. Oh, okay. That's N-A-P-A, Snappa. S-N-A-P-P-A, Snappa. Yes. A Snappa. Mm. Okay, it's my first time to hear that, Snappa. Yes. Okay, but for you as a graphic designer, what do you usually use? In graphic, in complex graphic design um, projects, I use, of course, the Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. But with social media projects, with my clients with social media, I just use Canva and Snappa. And if I need to make more complex graphics, I just use the free online tools because it's quite easier when you are on the same um, page in your web browser. Everything is mm -hmm. just very applicable and uh, easy to navigate. So, yeah. Napa. Uh, sorry, sorry. Ad Adobe. <laughs> Adobe, yes. Yeah. For the complex. But for, mm -hmm. like, very easy, just probably just adding captions or texts on the photo, Canva on the image. Canva is the best. Mm, I see, I see. Yes. Okay. Canva so, is the best for that. Okay. So, Coach, you might want to start sharing your PowerPoint. Yes. Okay. I'll just share my screen. Mm -hmm. For right. those who have questions, feel free to shoot in the chat box because we can... Uh, read them anyway. So while you are preparing your, okay, let me add okay. coach mm -hmm. to the stream. Okay. Um, is it on the screen now, coach? Yes. Let me know. Okay, yes, great. It is. So this I'm I'm going to start now. This is mm -hmm. the graphic design tools for starting designers, or for those of you who has no background experience with design. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Software doesn't have to be expensive for us freelancers and for small to mid-sized businesses, which is our clients. So it is a plus to our clients if we don't need them to purchase a certain tool, right? Because they um, also budget their um, business, um, the salary, yeah, they budget that's those. Funny. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a great it's a plus points if you can tell your clients that I have a great tool that I, we can mm -hmm. use for this project, but you don't yeah. need to buy it, right? So you can right, um, right. tell your clients about this. So the first one for photo editing, the best substitute for Adobe Photoshop, because Adobe Photoshop is a paid application, Mm -hmm. The best tool that we can use for that as an alternative is Photo P. This, uh, okay. With this tool, we are going to adjust the um, lightness, darkness, adjustments of a certain photo. Okay, like, I am going to show you how. So okay. um, can you see my Photo P screen? 
Yes. Okay, perfect. So this is the Photopea user interface. Um, by the way, it's for free and you can navigate through it in your web browser. So that would be uh, the URL is www.photopea.com. So when you go to the, to the link, it will show you the screen. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, we have here the file menu, which is present in every application. It's even present in Microsoft Word, Google Sheets. I know you are all familiar with this. So um, here on the left side, we have here the tools. But don't be scared of the tools, guys, because <laughs> <laughs> they have names, okay? When you navigate through them, they, the names pop up, okay, like that. So you can see that it's lasso select, it's rectangle select. So you can have a bit of a background of what the tool does for your graphic, okay? So now let's try to um, edit a certain photo. So let's just open from computer because mm -hmm. our photo is in the computer, of course. So let's just choose a photo right here. Okay, let me choose one of my client's photos so that you can see. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so... It's basically like more or less like Canva, Coach, because yeah. I'm not really familiar with PhotoP. It's my first mm -hmm. time to mm -hmm. see this one. Yes, it. this one is different from Canva because Canva doesn't actually... A focus on the adjustments of the photo. It just adds mm -hmm. filters, right? Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Kind of just and adds like filters. simple cropping for yes, Canva. simple cropping. But you cannot actually edit the brightness, the tone, things oh, like that. Yes, okay. but with PhotoP, you can do that. Mm -hmm. So with this one, let's say you want to um, edit the um, adjustments of the photo. Mm -hmm. You can go. Open your photo that you want to edit and go to layer and then new adjustment layer. You will see all the um, adjustments that you can do like brightness and contrast, levels, the curves, exposure. You can then research on Google what this... Um, what they mean. What, yeah, what they mean and what they do in a photo. So you can know like if you want to... This, is, this one is a great tool color balance when you want to add redness like that as you can see it adds redness it becomes sepia. yes with green it adds those colors in your photo and canva doesn't have this so we need yeah. another tool to do this mm -hmm. so for blue this one is if you want to make your just like um what i did last week for my client it's already spring in the u.s right mm -hmm. and, yes. uh, previously we have um we have winter photos like this one this one looks very wintry right very cold mm -hmm. because it's more blue and green but now she wants it to be more spring like so mm -hmm. we want it to be green and red and more lively to look at more light because it's okay. already spring. So spring. we so my clients didn't have to take a photo again of her product. We just edit it out in Photo P. We just adjust you just, the the you just um, made use of the image that you already have. Yes, and then we just adjust how it looks like. So it looks more of spring and less wintry. Mm, I see. Yes. Okay. So, and then another also, you can use the U and saturation. This one changes the color. So you can see mm. when you drag it, it changes colors. Right. Saturation and lightness. Mm -hmm. And then when you are satisfied and you are what this is ready to be saved, you can save it here on file export as png or jpeg so that you can then upload it on the social media accounts right Photo yes P. so yes photop.com so it's 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 here i tried i tried downloading it and let's see how it looks like mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm sorry, my computer is quite laggy. That uses mine too. That usually okay. happens. Yeah. So this one is our product. So it doesn't. Um, it looks more spring now because we want it to look this way. Okay, mm -hmm. for the second tool, we have, all right, for the second tool, we have vector, for vector graphics. Okay, what do I mean by vector graphics? Yes. Vector <laughs> graphics are illustrations. Like um, you want, uh, the client wants a customized icon or the mm -hmm. client wants to redo his logo, but he already has a logo. He would just want mm -hmm. you to trace it. Then mm -hmm. you can do it here on Adobe um, VecTR. This is a great substitute for Adobe Illustrator. Okay, mm -hmm. let's try. So this so one this is... is also, sorry, Coach, yes. this is also free, right? Yes, these are all free, Coach. Wow, okay. Yes. I really Amazing. didn't know. Thank you yes. for the introduction. <laughs> Welcome. Even before when um, I was still in college, I didn't know that um, these tools are not yet present at that time. Mm. So it was really hard for designers to look for tools that they can use. Yeah, but because now, most yeah. Did. But now everything is given and we can use it for free. So let's take advantage of this, guys. Exactly. <laughs> While yeah. it's free. For those of you that are watching, by the way, Coach, let me greet Coach Hannah. She is in Japan. Hi, Coach. Hi, Thank Coach you Hannah. for tuning in. And it's her birthday tomorrow. So advance happy birthday. Advance happy birthday. <laughs> okay. 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 So let's continue. Um, this one, VecTR.com, also you can open it in your web browsers. So that mm -hmm. would be www.VecTR.com. And you can use it online. So just click on the button, use online. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wait for it to process and to open. I really love this tool. I, I actually um, knew about this months back just uh recently and i loved it mm. it's really a great tool for starters were you the one who discovered this or it was your client who told you to check on this tool i discovered this because coach um sometimes adobe illustrator acts up because of your pro computer processor uh, the, you know okay. yeah because it requires so much RAM. storage mm. yes storage so i was amazed when i opened this because it is really like adobe illustrator just some just a few features that it doesn't have but mm -hmm. for the basics it already uh it's here already Mm, here. Okay. Yes. So we want to trace something because mm -hmm. that's what I have said earlier. We will trace something so that you will know that you can do this one in vectr.com. Okay, let me just find something. Okay, this one. Like, for example, okay, uh, you draw something on paper and you took mm -hmm. a photo of it. Okay, like mm -hmm. this one. This mm -hmm. one is um, drawn in paper and you want to make a digital version of this. Okay, yes, okay, yes. So, Winnie the Pooh. Yes, it's Winnie the Pooh in paper. <laughs> so let's just use the pen tool. Again, do not be scared of the tools because the name pops up and you can identify what it does, okay? So let's use the pen tool. The pen tool is used for tracing the outline of your drawing. Drawing. Okay? Yeah. So let's just um, outline. When you draw, uh, when you use the pen tool, just um, follow through the lines that you made on the paper. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just like so. So um, it's really easy. You're just making dots on the lines. By the way, if it has curves like this one, you just have to hold it in and then mm -hmm. it will curve, uh, the lines will curve out for you like this one. See? I, I just um, drag and hold the mouse button. Mm. Okay. Like that. 
So later on after this live, if you have time, you can practice and check it out. Yeah, you should start really downloading easy. it. Yeah. So just like that. So let me just finish Pooh's head so that um, we will know how it looks after. This is really, I was amazed really with this tool because it's so useful and it's for free and everyone can access it and it provides just the same, um, just the same use with Adobe Illustrator. So it's amazing. There, we already did the outline. So you can then change the colors, the borders, shadows right here on the right side. So let's say, for example, we'll change the, the background color. So you can also use another image if you want. Click on the drop down tool right here. If you want to use another image, click image. Linear gradient. This one is for overlay. Also radial. And then let's just use color for the meantime. Okay. Let's use yellow because we need the poo is yellow. <laughs> okay. And then for the border, let's have black. Okay. And then you can adjust the size. 1px means one pixel. So mm. the larger the pixel, the thicker the border. Okay. okay. So there. So you can see. Pag 11 pixels na siya, very thick na yung border thick. niya. Yes. The lesser the pixels, the thinner the border. The, the line. Okay. Yes. So for the shadow naman, we have here um, offset Y, offset X. That is the direction of the shadow that you want to, uh, uh, the, want to align. So let's just, you, as you can see, off, offset X goes to mm, yeah, the right side, right. yes, and offset Y up and down. Oh, amazing. Yes, amazing, yes, <laughs> amazing. I really didn't know these things, okay. Yeah. You can offer the you can offer illustration services for your clients. Exactly, for the social media managers yes. that are already here, you should check this out. Yes, and then you can tell them that I can make customized icons for your IG highlights. You know, I use this a lot in uh -huh. IG highlights, and my clients mm. are amazed. Mm, yeah, yeah, the one yeah. right on top of the feed, there are highlights yes. there. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a highlight cover. Yes, yes, yes. So after this, if you are done and satisfied with your work, you can then export it again right here on top. It says mm -hmm. export. And then you can um, either choose it as a page or selection. Okay, hold on for a while. It's lagging. As what I have said earlier, illustrations require a lot of storage talaga. So sometimes... It's a bit laggy, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How so, many? Okay, yes, coach. Go, coach. Uh, if ever you save this image, mm -hmm. since it is an illustrator, and as you said, it requires, will the image also be very, um, what do you call this, big in terms? In large of yeah. a file type and a file, yes, and yes. file size? Yes, it file size. It depends on the size here. Uh, um, kasi it's width and height, and it depends on the pixels. Higher, um, the higher resolution images are more likely to be 1080, 1080 pixels. Those mm. would be high quality images already. But with this one, 640, uh, this is good for social media. But then again, guys, by the way, when you just upload images to social media, it doesn't have to be. Uh, larger file size because if you are going to have a larger file size it will load very slow wow. on your social yeah. media accounts true, and true. we don't want that because we want to we want to catch audience attention right away right one time but, yes 
right then and there. The second that yeah. it shows the image, we should catch attention. But right. what if you have a higher file size? That would mean that they have to wait for the image to show. Yeah. So please, do not have a larger file size if yes. you are just going to post it on social media. So this uh, 1640 is okay now. Coach, I have a question. Yes, um, Coach. You can save images as .jpg and or .png. Yes. I understand .jpg has a lower resolution mm -hmm. compared to .png. What are yes. the other differences of the two? Okay, with PNG Coach, it's um, it it showcases transparency of the image. As you have observed, most PNGs are of transparent backgrounds, right? Mm. Now observe mo po yun. Ano siya? Um, most of the logos, especially in um, our clients, usually uh -huh. it's PNG because walang background, and we ah, want to okay. yes, okay. we want mm. to include that in our graphics. And right, parang, right. Um, parang hindi siya maganda tignan if my background yung logo natin, true, like parang true. my white background mm. at the back. We don't want that because parang hindi siya seamless sa image and graphics natin for social media. Mm, okay. Yes, but it doesn't really have that much of a difference. difference. But PNG lang is. Um, open to transparency. JPEG, hindi po siya transparent. When you save something to JPEG, automatically the computer will put a white background to your image. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Now I understand. I really, I, I just really thought that PNG mm -hmm. has a higher resolution and JPEG has a lower resolution. Mm -hmm. So it's more of you can, ah, okay, okay. Yes, I so. see. Mm, okay. So, <laughs> Yeah, so it's like that. Um, it's really um, sometimes we don't know the difference, especially if we are not um, using it most of the time. Because as social media managers, we just want the images, right? We don't actually yes. um, think of it as a file type or what True. it does. A file type, yeah. So it's good that uh, we have this talk right now, so that we can learn from each other and we could also right. share our knowledge to the viewers right now yes that's that's the very reason why we have this kind of live especially yes. you know as an enrichment to the trainees of filipino virtual assistants correct so yes, yes. so now let's going to uh let's let's download it okay okay by the way in um vectr you can also share the link right here it oh. has url so if in case this one is still a draft and you want to show your client, you don't want to download it since it's not yet final and you want to share it to your client, just copy this link and send it to your client. And then they will Look, see it via browser. Even if they don't have, they haven't like downloaded, oh, well, this is web-based, but yes, if they don't have an account in VECT, they can still yes. open the link. Yes, they can still open the link. It's mm -hmm. it will be uploaded on the internet. So I'm not quite sure why it's in on error right now, but mm -hmm. what it does is the link will show this image to your client. If in case it doesn't show and my error sha just download it. Mm -hmm. Then allow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try to download it as PNG. Mm -hmm. And it's here. But it, it will look really great if you already outlined everything. So for yeah. now, okay, we just tried this <laughs> ahead. Okay. True. Some might okay. want to have this as an exercise after mm -hmm. the slide. Yes, it would be really helpful. And it's great that you will learn a new skill, Deva. Right, right. I mean, for all social, for all foreign clients looking for social media managers, mm -hmm. as I mean, graphics is always there. That's, it will never, it will just glue together. So this is very yes. important. It's a plus points, Coach, if you can uh, tell your clients that you can do graphics. Yes, that's right. 
So now our best friend Canva, okay? Right. Everyone loves Canva. Yes, me. You can me, do a me. lot here, presentation, social media. I know you are familiar with this already. Yeah. But one tip I can share with you for you to have more engagement in your graphics is to include stickers, moving stickers. Do you do mm -hmm. that, coach? I think yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I, I have. Yeah, I, I saw your. You saw me post. right one of the posts that I did. Yes, yes, yes it's moving, and yes. that is very. Um, that is a great move for social media. It mm -hmm. it's like a GIF or a short MP4 video. Yeah, it's it called to action for me. For, yes. for me, mostly, it's a call to action uh, using that kind of element. Yes. So you can do that here. So for those of you who are not, not yet doing that, the sticker magic, the sticker video, you should do it. You should include this feature to your client. It's great. I wasn't they, um, able, uh, Coach Love, I wasn't able yes, to experiment. Coach. Like there are already moving elements, but there mm -hmm. are also still elements, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Coach. Can I, I, I don't know how to move a still element. Can I do that? Or I just have to choose among the moving elements? Okay, let's try to do that, okay? Okay. If we can do it. I think we can because okay. Canva supports GIF, okay? So right, right. let's just choose one still element and let's try if let's try if we can move this one. Okay. This mm -hmm. one is a still mm -hmm. element sticker. Yes. And then we are just going to duplicate the page. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then rotate the sticker a little bit on the side. And then do the same thing. Rotate it to the left side. Just make it look like it's moving. Yung parang nagdudraw ka. Before, when I was a child, when I have a notebook Ooh. and I draw on the pages of my notebook, and when I uh -huh. do flip it like this, it it shows yeah, that it, it feels like it moves. So right, that's right. the idea of this one. That's why we are duplicating the images. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. And then Yes, and then we are going to save it later on. Let's S -G -I -F. try. It. Yes. Mm, okay. So let's try if it moves. Yeah. If it doesn't, let's try the MP4. But I believe this this one works. You can also let's add later on animation after we <laughs> see this one. Okay. Um while we are waiting coach i have a question um yes there are like for example photos like for example uh my image i want it to be like a cartoon what mm -hmm. would be the best tool for that um the best tool for that would be vectr.com oh the illustrator mm -hmm. yes as you can see, it already moves, but it doesn't have. But we need to adjust the time. Mm, the back, make it longer. It yeah, make it shorter yeah. so that it's uh, a shorter. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shorter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try to okay. animate, coach, so that they will see. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's try to have this brief one. And then adjust the timing to maybe 2.5 seconds lang. Mm -hmm. Kasi we want to see it move right away. So, 2 seconds. The reason why we need to have it shorter, Coach, kasi the longer it is, the longer the timing, uh, matagal siya magmumove. All right. It will look like it's it's still. Yeah, it's still um not moving. Kasi yung time niya matagal. Mm. So with this one, eleven point five seconds lang siya. It's still long. Yung two seconds is still long. So maybe one second. Let's try. So 
So this one is really, uh, it helps. This one is good for the IG stories. Mm, right. Yes. yes. If you're if you are working with your clients IG stories, this animation uh, technique is good. It's great for that. Okay, let's just adjust it. If you have client photos or products, you can use the uh, products here instead of this uh, sticker. Okay, now that it's okay. Now that it's three point two seconds, it already moves. Moves faster. So the yes. shorter, the better, and save yes, it as GIF. Yes, you can also add music to this one audio. That's one thing I love about Canva. Mm. <laughs> yes, it's magical. <laughs> but one thing I notice, Coach, if you add yes. music. Like for a video or yeah, or an image, and then you put it in YouTube, for example, because they're very um they're very careful with the copyright at yes. this time. Well, I think later I'm sure later on it will still be like that. Mm -hmm. The the video, for example, if it's like from Canva, um, it will not be monetized. Oh. If you add a music, for example, yes, because there's a copyright. Yes, it's uh, the music is owned by Canva. Yes, yes. So that's why it's it's mm. it's not monetized. Yeah. So it's so there should be to... editing later on. Although that that would yes. be on another topic because we're talking mm -hmm. about graphics here. But yeah. yes. So yeah, this is our output. It it already moves. Mm, it's a GIF. Cool. Okay. Very easy. It is. Ah. Okay. I'm okay. really gonna do that. Okay. All right. So another also, I, I'm I'm not sure if all of you are familiar with the tidy up feature of Canva. Are you familiar tidy, with it, Coach? Tidy up. Yes, mm -hmm. tidy up. When you have, uh, like you have a lot of elements in your, mm -hmm. let's say your graphic. Like let's mm -hmm. just add a lot of circles for like for example, this one's uh, this one is a bullet. Like mm -hmm. you of the documents, and you wanted mm -hmm. to line up, diba? It's it's quite uh, time consuming if you're going to line it up like this. Yeah. So, uh, Canva already has a tidy up feature. So just select all the elements that you want to uh, tidy up, and then go to position, and then it has it says here tidy up, and when you click on that, it lines up. Oh. Automatically. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, it's this one, to see this as well. Yes, tidy coach. Up. Yes, tidy so up. It positions in a single yes, line. Yes, in a single line. Mm. All the elements that you want to position in a single line, it can be done using tidy up. Mm. So you just basically hold all yes. the different okay. elements and then... And then okay. position Where and then position? tidy up. Okay. All right. So now let's go to the alternative for Canva. If na umay na kayo sa Canva, which <laughs> I know will not happen. <laughs> no, because I think Canva continues to upgrade and yes. yeah. Every time. Canva surprises us every time. No, you can sure. even uh, like there's already like a TikTok something in Canva, right? And later great. on, they will add other stuff there for, oh, well, Reels is already in Canva. Yes. Yeah. So now let's go to Snapa, Coach. So this one oh, okay. is this a is what you told me. Yeah, Snapa. It's www.snapa.com. That is S-N-A-P-P-A.com. Mm -hmm. So you can also log into this using your Gmail account. So it's not a problem. You can just click on create the log. Yeah, create an account using Gmail, and then automatically it will log uh, log in using the Gmail account. So just like Canva, it has all the social media templates and the sizes. So you don't have to worry if you are using the correct size for your social media post. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says here, social media post for Facebook, Instagram, Instagram story for LinkedIn, 
Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube thumbnail, just the same as Canva. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. But uh, one thing, it has infographic also. But Canva <laughs> also has infographic, but Canva doesn't show it that much, right? Yes. More on socials talaga yung Canva. Mm-hmm. Infographics is something that is very good to explore, especially for um, graphics in Facebook. And social or- media. Okay. Yes, especially now. Um, I have seen a lot of infographic, especially with the pandemic, mm. COVID. The one we see in the reports of ABS-CBN, GMA News, how many COVID positive already, those are infographics yes Mm -hmm. so now let's try coach Uh, let's try to make facebook na lang because it's famous (laughs) so so here it shows you the size of the facebook post that is um 1200 pixels by 900 pixels so again it has templates that you can use so pag nauumay na kayo sa templates ng Canva you can transfer to Snapa kasi another templates naman siya yeah yeah so it works the same as Canva feature wise the same yes the same but different um Different templates, mm. as you can see. Bago siya. Mm. It has featured templates that is used most of the time. So let's not use that. Kasi as social media managers, we still want to be unique, right? Yes. Mm. If, if this, do not choose the featured templates. Kasi madami nang nag-use ng templates na yan, di ba? So we Honestly, want to be... Coach. Yeah. <laughs> When 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 I go to uh, Instagram or Facebook, for example, I know already. Ah, okay, this is me. This from Canva. Canva. Yes, <laughs> I saw that in Canva. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so you know me as much as possible. I mean, I stick to my branding. Yes. I mean, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we don't want our audience to, especially now that everything is online and exactly. all of the people are using Canva actually because they can do presentations there uh everyone <laughs> the small now. business yeah <laughs> the small business owners already know Canva because they post um social media graphics using Canva so yeah. they will know that mm, she is using <laughs> Canva okay. right <laughs> okay coach um yes coach what, what is your advice we are all we we're talking about you know, as much as possible, avoid using the familiar type of mm-hmm. templates. What? Yes. How do you do that as, um, All right. as a so, designer? If you want to be unique, okay? Yes. Let's use Canva because I love Canva. We all love okay. Canva. Okay, yes. so let's use Instagram post. One thing I can share with you is to use elements as your background okay it doesn't have to be a sticker it just you can use the you can make your own tem- template using um different shapes oh, okay mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah okay let's um try to use pink and then when you um want to make your own template mm-hmm, so you mm-hmm. can then use shapes one thing if you for non-designers okay when you want to include shapes make sure that you have what we call balance balance is that what you put on the top you also put it on the bottom uh, like okay. that uh, i see you my template ka na. You, can, oh. you can also put it side by side like this Mm. Okay. This is called balance in graphic designing. Mm. Mm-hmm. You can also use other shapes. So you can, um, like for example, the heart, you can mm-hmm. rotate it and like that. If you want it to look like that, parang ganun. and then add it on 
um, the other side para may balance siya. So this post is actually, uh, this template is good for Valentine's Day. So parang <laughs> ganun. <laughs> diba? So yeah. yeah. And then just add um, your colors. colors. Yeah. Kasi as um, we, we still want to be unique, right? Even though mm -hmm. even though we want our graphics to be uh we want to make our graphics as quick as possible because it's hard to plan a content uh plan right we wanted to do as fast as we could if we can social media managers can totally yeah. relate as to yeah. how challenging it is to do a content plan yeah it's hard so um as much as possible if you can do it quickly then you can so like that and then you can just add your text, mm -hmm. like maybe Happy Valentine's Day, like this. Mm -hmm. So, parang maganda na siya, no? Very easy mm -hmm. lang, but yeah. it looks appealing na. Right, Happy right. Play around with colors. Yes. But um, one tip I can share, do not... Um, use colors that are far from the colors that you have or the branding that you have. Mm -hmm. Kasi parang hindi siya magmamatch. Like, let's say, for example, with this with this graphic right here, it's Valentine's Day, so it should be reds, pinks, mm. um, neutrals, chocolates, roses, di ba? Ganun yeah. yung pag-Valentine's Day. But if we will put neon, neon blue, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's quite off. Right? So exactly. make sure that what uh, you use in your color scheme is related to the graphic. Yes. yes. Or your branding. So yeah, and very easy. Less than five mm -hmm. minutes lang siya. My template kana. And you can also add a little bit here if you want. Yes. Okay. So oh, I you think still need all. Okay, uh, because okay, by the yeah. way, before yes, we we end, I will take the opportunity. Yes, please. Yes, to let you all know that we are offering a graphic design course in FBA also. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with this one, you will go in depth with the things that I showed you earlier. And then this is also good for the freelancers, but not just freelancers because the curriculum also um, is good for small business owners, for mm. those of you who are in the corporate world and you would want to make uh, presentations that will look the best for your boss. This, this course is for you. And then we have currently, we have 11 video lessons recorded mm. video lessons to live coaching and then we also have learning teams lifetime assistance you know, sa coach and then oh my god oh my god shit Hello? Oh. Oh, sorry. Okay. I thought I was the one who 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 got disconnected. So yeah, I think Coach Love got disconnected, if I'm not mistaken. Can you all still hear me? Okay, yeah. I think Coach Love got disconnected. Okay, okay. Thank you, Coach Hannah, for... Um, I, I thought I was the one who got disconnected because my internet was really acting up hours ago. Okay. Yeah, Coach Love got disconnected. Okay, so... I, I hope she can still be in before I end the live. 
Um, for your graphic design questions, I will not be able to answer those. Thank you, Coach Hannah, for um, confirming that I, you can still hear me. So, yeah. Um, well, you can still shoot in your questions here because, hi, Christine. Uh, anyway, we can go back and I can forward it to Coach Hannah so she can go over or reply. So, again, for those of you who... Hello, Hashimoto, Melissa. Hashimoto sounds Japanese, so I think it's Kunbanwa. Thank you for joining this live. Yeah, okay, yeah. So uh, for those of you who want to learn more about graphic design for non-designers, social media managers, virtual assistants, small business owners, please do join the the course of Coach um, Glob. And also, I the, the course that I'm offering, Social Media Management and Marketing course, I'm on my third batch. I'll be starting by, uh, by May for my fourth batch. So, yeah, just feel free to message me. And I think that's about it. I'm not sure if Coach Glob can still join us because, yeah, she got DC. Everyone, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Stay safe wherever you are. And I hope you learned a lot in our live tonight. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye.